morning, Saberites. Anonymous here, another Saber Fit edition. We're going to uh, kind of go over a thing that comes up a whole lot, and that is stance knee position. We've gone over knee position before, um, but this will be specifically in relation to the three kind of major stances of Shicho in our system. Uh, that would be Dubak Rider, uh, front stance, and uh, kneeling stance. So uh, I'll show you the relationship between those and why we train them that way. Now, first of all, um, when I'm talking about training stances, I don't simply mean ways that you stand. Um, so ready stance is not necessarily kind of included in this. There are different points of mechanics and stuff that need to be, go over, need to be gone over with uh, ready stance. Um, but we're talking about the kind of training stances here. The training stances are usually extended. They're there to kind of accentuate feeling, um, give you sensation to, to tell you exactly what your body is doing. So you're not gonna find, find yourself in them for very long or very often when going at full speed. Um, nevertheless, they're very important for training. Now I'll go over the uh, three basic ones um, in, in our system and I'll show you exactly kind of how they're supposed to be working. So we start with do back rider. Now this is common to people who do martial arts. It's mabu in uh, Chinese martial arts, horse stance, English translation, pretty much common to most Asian martial arts. Um, what this is is feet parallel, going straight forward. We've got our knees going the same direction of our, as our feet. We're straight up here at the torso, <clears throat> tucked there at the hips, and the if I turn to the side here, the angle of my lower leg is generally equal to the angle of between my hip and my shoulder. Okay, and that angle stays pretty <clears throat> pretty set. Okay, so now this stance right here is the first basic training stance. It requires you to kind of push out against your heels and outside of your feet. Um, keeping your knees out, we're going to rotate those out here, which is going to bring in the glutes and the back of the hips a whole lot, so it's going to open up that. That's going to be very important for knee stabilization. Okay. Now, we don't have to get out of this stance to transition to the next one, front stance. What we're going to do is straighten this leg to put more of the weight over here. Then we are going to turn this entire leg, knee, hip, and ankle at the same time out kind of diagonally. This is front stance, see? And if we go back into do that right here, we can go to the other one as well, okay? Now here, our bottom leg is gonna be straight up and down, more or less, same angle as our body. As I lean forward, I want this angle to change with this angle, right? So if I'm reaching out for a thrust, I don't want this angle to exceed this angle, like that, okay? Doesn't matter which side. So you can see we can rotate easily between each of those stances there, okay? Kneeling stance is the same way. Now, instead of rotating this foot, which is the foot that you're weight is on and you're shifting toward, we're going to turn this one. So we're going to, well, we're going to turn both of them. So we're going to move this one out just a little bit. We're going to bring up the heel of this one. Then we're going to rotate this whole piece down like that so that my ankle and my knee are still in line with my toe, right? And down like that. And then I bring it back up and there more flexion in the hip, here, there, okay? And there's where we get the kind of postures there, okay? So now, what exactly do those do? They are strengthening the outside of your leg. As we strike, <clears throat> like this, especially if we're doing things by ourselves where we have to do a follow through and, and um, stop it, if we lack sufficient stabilization of our lower body, what will happen 
is something like this. And this happens to everybody, okay? It doesn't matter how good you are, you all have days when you're, oh, my knee is just kind of not cooperating or whatever. The trick is, is you just have to be aware, right? And figure out how to stop it. Now, these three stances and transitioning between them are a great way to help train and strengthen all of those movements needed to keep your leg in one spot, right? And the basic principle of it is this. If I'm holding my leg up like this, this joint and this joint just have to stabilize. And then this joint will move the entire leg, okay? So <clears throat> if I line up this with my toe, like this, and I rotate this way, you see, there. Now, if you have a problem with your knee rotating in on you, what do you do about it? Well, a couple of things. First of all, really be sure that you're rotating out with your thighs, right? And if you're striking and you're constantly kind of coming in like this, as you come down, really drive this heel into the ground and push out with the back of your hip. Kind of like that, but we're not shifting like that, just like that, into the ground like that, okay? If you still can't keep it straight, right, whichever side you're doing it on, okay, you go slow until you can do it. And then once you can do it, you start adding a little speed and you watch it, okay? See, it's moving a little bit. And then once you kind of get the idea, you can then integrate. Now, one of the things about it is, keeping this knee steady creates torque in your body, which is one of the things that puts power in your strike. If your knee is torquing out of there and you're twisting from the lower body, a lot of that energy is being dissipated out and it's not going into your strike. Right? Now, with lightsabers, it doesn't mean doesn't make that much of a difference. But it does make a difference in recovery, okay? Because when I'm in a sparring situation and I do a full amplitude strike, because that's what happens, that's why we wear gear, and I swing and I miss, I have to be able to recover this leg. If I'm here like this, then you get there. Now, you will see sometimes this, and that is perfectly acceptable to let this leg spin out with this heel as I turn out, just to prevent that. And if you do that, you'll kind of notice exactly when you're doing it because you'll be facing it a completely different direction. So anyway, it just takes a lot of persistence. Like anything we do, patience, practice, patience, and perseverance are three Ps. All right. Okay, well, hopefully that, that helped. Just a little bit of a tip there for you. And uh, keep practicing those stances. Join us on Facebook, Learners in Exile Forum. Um, like our page. Uh, follow us on uh, Twitter, YouTube. Like, share, subscribe. Until next time, have a great day. Happy sabering.